here we back with another classic man now listen i'm gonna give a disclaimer off the rip if you're one of those fake pro-black women those fake pro-black black fists up in the air during the day but you're laying up with the white man during the nighttime, just click off the video now you're gonna get your feelings hurt today you're gonna get triggered today you might get triggered today so i'm giving you right now to just click off the video come back tomorrow all right let's get into it now in case you didn't know recently lebron james son i believe he goes by the name of lebron james jr or something like that or bronny james or whatever he took his girlfriend to prom right take a look up on the screen as you can see and as expected and it came as no surprise to anybody this picture up on the screen stirred up a little bit of conversation and controversy up on the social media streets and today we're gonna talk about it now before i get started i want to give a shout out to this good brother on twitter you know doing some good work he goes by the name of you thought you had it at you thought you had it you know what i mean shout out to the good brother and what he does on his twitter page is he basically exposes what i say on my channel all the time these fake pro black black fists up in the air i'm so pro black i'm down for my community but i'm running chasing behind white men every goddamn day of the week this brother right here exposes these women for the world to see now not wasting no time take a look up on the screen this lady hopped on twitter man and she said this i don't care what y'all think but my son is gonna know better than to bring a white b to my family y'all better educate your kids and at the current time of this recording, that tweet has gotten damn near 300,000 views, about 1,300 likes, over four, damn near 400 retweets right now. You know what I mean? The screenshot, it was a little bit earlier, but as it stands right now. So as you can see, it resonated with the community. You know what I mean? And we're going we gonna to analyze some of the tweets and we're going to analyze the hypocrisy. As you already know, the hypocrisy is going to be front and center, as always, when it comes to this demographic of females. All they do is just, you already know, man, they sit up in everybody's face, run their goddamn mouth, and they don't even practice what they preach. They don't even live by their doctrine. They run their goddamn mouth, talk all this pro-black nonsense, black fists up in the air, you better educate your kids, don't bring no white bitch to my family. But at the end of the day, we're going to see if they're really living it by what they're talking about. Let's get into it. Now, first things first, I just want to say, LeBron James' son is what, 17 years old, 18 years old, 19 years old? I've never heard him say anything negative about black women because they always say, oh, we don't got a problem with black men that date white women. We just have a problem when black men disrespect black women. That's when we come in and we say something. But as someone who has five sisters, bro, I'm going to tell you right now, that's a lie. The lie detector said that's a lie. Whether you disrespect black women, whether you uplift black women, it doesn't matter. They, they're always going to get triggered by that shit, bro. They're always going to get triggered by that shit. Even if they just got done sucking the white man dick last night, they still going to try to sit up on a high horse, sit up on the mountaintop and try to judge you, even though they got the smell of a white man dick still on their goddamn breath. Now, let's jump into it, man. Take a look up on the screen. This lady right here, she responded to the tweet. She goes by the name of Boss Lady. She said this, I ain't even finna play with him. So she obviously agrees. Her son better not bring no white woman home to the house. She would never approve of that. Now. Let's get into it, man. The good brother from the Twitter page, you know, he dug up some of her old tweets. You know, we had to dig up some evidence to really verify if she's really living what she's saying. Is she really practicing what she's preaching? And the results came back negative. The results came back dirty, as expected, as always. Take a look up on the screen. She said this. The DMs are open to white men only. So like I said, man, listen. They're going to be jumping on the white man dick. They're going to be running around with the white man getting smashed in the back seat. They're going to be talking about DMs open only to the white man. But God forbid their future son come home with a white woman. God forbid. You know, the white woman, the white woman who created the white man. You know what I mean? Keep in mind, the white woman who gave birth and raised and fed and clothed and taught the white man everything he knows. She's not allowed to come to the cookout. She's not allowed to come to the house. But the white man can come to the house. You see what I mean? That's why I don't take these pro-black women serious. And a lot of people ask me. Because especially due to the content that I put out on my channel, I talk about black history a lot, black politics, black economics. And a lot of people ask me, you know, in my email, in my comment section, why do I say things like I don't deal with pro-black women? Like pro-black women is like the bottom of my list, bro. Like, like if a woman tell me she pro-black, I'm automatically looking at you funny. As soon as I start hearing that pro-black, black fist up in the air or that race talk, I just tune out. I don't listen no more. I don't listen anymore because I feel like you're trying to run game like the last 10 hundred chicks that tried to run that same hustle. Like, I'm not with it, bro. I'm not with it. And it's unfortunate because it's probably some good women that that really care for their people that really down for their community but because it's so many of y'all that's on bullshit it's so many of y'all trying to run game unfortunately i look at the vast majority of y'all like some con artists and to be honest y'all not even worth my time i'll be honest with you and i'm somebody who only deals with black women i tell y'all that all the time but i only deal with black women who only deal with black men i only deal with black women on the same type of energy the same type of time as me and unfortunately, the vast majority of so-called pro-black women, I'm down for my people, I'm down for the black community, the vast majority of y'all are no different from a goddamn Tariq Nasheed, Al Sharpton, goddamn Benjamin Crump. You just a hustler, you just a con artist, you just a fraud. You just a fraud and to be honest, nobody wants to be around a goddamn fraudulent individual. So let's continue. Next tweet, take a look up on the screen. This lady right here who goes by the name of Mama Pete, she agrees with the tweet as well. She said this, 
on God. I don't play them games at all. Call it what you want. Now, let's take a look. Let's take a look, man. Take a look up on the screen. They dug into her catalog and she said this. White boys forever winning. And that wasn't good enough. She came back around and she said this. Cassie got her a fine ass white man. I know that's right, sis. And that right there pretty much personifies. It puts it into great detail why a person like me, who some might say I'm a very conscious brother, I'm a very intelligent brother, I'm down for my folks, I'm down for my I'm down for my community, but I stay away from so-called pro-black women. A pro-black female, so-called, she's gonna be trying to run game on you at the front door. Right out the gate, she's gonna be trying to lie to you, run game on you, run a goddamn fraudulent hustle on you. And one thing I hate is somebody who's trying to get over on you. Somebody who's trying to get over on you, somebody trying to run game on you, somebody who does not live by the doctrine that they preach to other people. That's one thing that me personally, that gets on my last goddamn nerve, man. Gets on my last goddamn nerve. And call it what you want, black women, y'all got that shit bad. Y'all got that worse out of any demographic. Every single demographic of women, they got that, they got their manipulative nature, they got their female nature, but when it comes to black women, y'all turn it up to a thousand percent. Y'all just shameless in y'all bullshit. Y'all just shameless in the hypocrisy. Like you know when you see a homeless dude walking down the street, with his beer in his hand, with his alcohol in his hand, he just drunk, he don't even care what he look like, what he smell like, he just walking around smelling like shit, he don't even care. A lot of these pro-black women, they just shameless, bro. They just shameless in their hypocrisy, bro. They don't even care. In the same breath, they'll say this, I don't want my son to bring home a white woman. And in the same breath, they'll go link up with a white woman's brother, with a white woman's nephew, with a white woman's son. That's why I don't take them serious, bro. I don't take them serious. I don't like the white, the pro black demographic of black women. They're the last on my list because y'all just on bullshit, bro. Like, I got the ratchets higher on the list. I got the ratchets, like the, the Megan Thee Stallions, the bitches that be twerking in the middle of the street. I got them higher on my list than the so called pro black women because the, the so called ratchets, the so called hood chicks, they are more authentic. They're going to keep it real with you way faster than a so called pro black woman. Oh, I'm so down for my race, my race, the, the black community, the black wealth, the black generational, the black family. Those are the biggest con artists in the goddamn game. Y'all the biggest con artists in the goddamn game. And it's unfortunate because some of y'all might really mean well and have good intentions. But because the culture, the social culture of black women is, is one based off hypocrisy and fraudulence, y'all get lumped into the same basket with all the other frauds and con artists. It's unfortunate because y'all don't check each other. Y'all know what I'm saying is facts. Now, let's continue. Next tweet. This lady right here also agreed with the tweet. She said, yeah. Obviously, she also would, you know, never approve her, her son coming home with a white woman. Now, let's dig into her catalog. The good brother dug up into her catalog and let's see, let's see what he found. She said this a couple months back. Should I text my white sugar daddies and say it's Black History Month? Sell me $350 or you're racist. Next tweet. Black men need to stop giving these basic white bitches a platform. Next tweet. I met a white guy at a bar who was seven foot two. I should have took him home. Next tweet. And this is why I don't date black men that date outside our race. Now, time out, man. Time out. Like I told you, I don't date outside my race. Now, this is what we got to deal with, brother. A brother like me who don't date outside my race, right? A lot of black women genuinely think that black men like myself, that black men who keep it inside, keep it inside the race, keep it inside the family, black men who really understand our people, really down for our people, they think that, and I, did, and I touched on this back in my videos about Ebony K. Williams. A lot of black men think, a lot of black women think that black men deserve to inherit the white man's trash right they really think that a black man should put a ring on the finger of the white man's trash they really think that they won't say it though they won't say it but you can tell by how they talk right she she up in the bar she got white sugar daddies plural so multiple old crusty white men is running through her you know what i mean treating her like a cheap prostitute giving her like 200 dollars to go get a motherfucking weave done or some shit like that and then she says that when it comes to black men, she only, she has the same policy as me. She only dates black men that date inside the race. The same way me, myself, I only date black women that only date black men. But the difference with me is I'm not up at the bar chasing after motherfucking white bitches. I'm not up at the bar trying to get a sugar mama, trying to get a sugar mama to pay my goddamn cell phone bill. This is what we got to deal with, brother. This is what we got to deal with out here in these streets. So her son can't bring a white woman home, but brothers like me, we supposed to bring black women home? That's the white man's trash? That's what we supposed to bring home to our mothers, though. Our mothers gotta, gotta get the white man's trash, though. Listen, it is what it is, man. Let's continue, man. Let's continue. That's why I don't deal with you pro-black women, bro. I don't deal with y'all. I disregard y'all like y'all don't exist. Y'all invisible to me. And it's unfortunate because some of y'all really might mean well and have good intentions. But because the culture of black women is one based on hypocrisy and fraudulence and lies and just bullshit and deception, like on 100%, I really got to like put all y'all in the same basket. Like y'all some fake ass frauds. Y'all should get the fuck away from me. Now let's continue. 
Now, it didn't stop there. Nah, of course not. It didn't stop there. Take a look up on the screen. She said this. I'm attracted to white men with mullets. Now, keep in mind, she just said that she only dates black men that keep it inside the race. But when it comes to her, she got multiple European sugar daddies. She chasing after white men with mullets looking like they're the grandson of the, the KKK Grand Wizard. Driving a goddamn Ford F-150 pickup truck. But when it comes to black men, she wants the top of the top, cream of the crop, conscious black man that only dates black women that, that's down for his people. But when it comes to her, she's sucking the white man's dick. And that's why I say, when it comes to the so-called pro-black women that talk all that race talk, listen, I look at y'all like some frauds. I'm not easily impressed. You got to do a lot to impress me. I'm not easily impressed, man. I'm not easily impressed at all. It is what it is, man. I'm not easily impressed. Because coming into the door, I've ran into this so much in real life. I've, I've ran into this so much in real life, bro. They talk all this pro-black, black power. The, we got to keep the black wealth inside the family. We got to keep, you know, we got to build the community. But then when you dive deep into the mindset, when you when you dissect their, their viewpoint on the world, you realize this individual is a sociopathic, pathological liar who is so shameless in their hypocrisy that it'll have you sitting back like, this individual might have some learning disabilities. They might have some, some cognitive disabilities where they really just might not be as intelligent as the general population because ain't no way somebody is this is this two-faced ain't no way somebody is this hypocritical like it ain't no way they gotta have autism or something they might they, they, they might have down syndrome or some shit like ain't no way this is a fully functional human being <laughs> no ain't no way i'll be trying to give you all the benefit of the doubt like maybe y'all got autism or something maybe y'all just maybe y'all just not as smart as everybody else i don't really know but anyway let's continue next tweet as a black woman i think it's important to only date black men that exclusively date black women Keep in mind, like I just said, this somebody who got white sugar daddies, white men busting cheeks for, you know, pennies on the dollar. You know what I mean? Just white men just busting cheeks for pennies on the dollar. She up in the club. She up in the bar chasing white men, things like that. But when it comes to black men, you got to exclusively date black women. And her son got to exclusively date black women. But when it comes to her, the white man, Dick, is still on her breath as we speak. Now, let's continue. Next tweet. She said. My type right now is rich white dads that drive black SUVs, play golf, and take their kids to Florida every spring break. Now, like I said, man, like I said, the white woman is not allowed to come to the crib. The white woman's son, the white woman's brother, the white woman's grandson, he can come to the crib, though. He can come to the crib. Even though the white woman gave birth to the white man, the white woman is not allowed to come to the crib. But the white man, he got the VIP invitation. He in the VIP section popping bottles with the black woman. Anyways, let's continue. Next tweet. She said, I love black men that stick up for black women with their whole chest without being forced to do so. Now, like I said, man, she jumping up and down like a pogo stick on the white man dick. But when it comes to the black man, you got to you got to stick up for her with your whole chest and you got to exclusively date her. And you can't even look at the white woman and you can't even bring the white woman home. But meanwhile, she in the backseat of the 1998 Toyota Camry sucking the white man off, man, for free. Bro, I'm telling you, that's why I don't be around none of you chicks that try to come around talking all this race talk. I don't listen to no chick talking all this race talk because nine times out of ten, y'all are some fakes, frauds, and phonies. And it's unfortunate because some of y'all really might be good people. But because so many of y'all don't check your sisters when they come with that bullshit, I'd lump y'all all in the same box. Y'all some frauds to me. Y'all some frauds because if you was really about what you said, if y'all was really about what y'all said, if y'all was in frauds and phonies, y'all would have been checking the frauds and phonies within your ranks. Y'all would have been checking the frauds and phonies within your circle, but you never do so. Why is that? Because birds of a feather flock together. Now, let's continue. Next tweet. Now, this one is just egregious. She said, if any of my cousins marry a white woman, I will simply not attend the wedding. And this is why I say some of y'all really might just have some cognitive disabilities where maybe your, maybe your brain just ain't firing up to speed like everybody else's because I really be trying to give y'all the benefit of the doubt. Like, nah, ain't no way. Ain't no way, man. Maybe, nah, ain't no way, man. Maybe she on medication or something. Maybe she was in a special ed class back in the day. I be trying to give them the benefit of the doubt because I really don't want to believe that a fully functional black female human being with her with her organs intact her brain intact all her vital signs intact is really operating in this level of hypocrisy and fraudulence i refuse to believe it but i gotta believe it because i see it so many times over and over again i see it way too much and once you see something happen at such a frequent level eventually you have to look in the mirror and ask yourself this is what it is this is not an anomaly this is the default setting of the pro-black female anything outside of this realm is outside of the norm this is the norm this is not the anomaly. This is not a fringe group. This is the default setting of the pro-black female. The mind of the pro-black female says this. The black man is only respected if he deals exclusively with the black woman. And if he, if he protects and uplifts and respects the black woman without looking in any other direction. Meanwhile, me, myself, 
I'm dealing with the community of nations. I'm dealing with the United Nations. I'm dealing with the Arab, the Palestinian, the Indian, the European, the, the Frenchman, the Britishman. I'm dealing with everybody under the damn sun. I'm sucking everybody dick, but the black man is not allowed to look in anybody else's direction. And I don't, I don't abide by that doctrine because I'm telling you right now, the same way I don't want your son to bring a white woman home, I refuse to bring the white man's trash home to my black mother who worked way too goddamn hard alongside my black father to put me through school, grinded, gave me the best life possible. For me to go and give up the family treasures to the white man's trash, I'll be damned. I'll be damned if I give my family treasures to the white man's trash. I, I'll be damned. I'll be damned, bro. I'll be damned. Now, let's continue. This lady right here who goes by the name of Ari Love, she said this. My kids have a white dad and this applies to them also. So take a take a look at this, bro. Take a look at this, bro. A white woman gave birth to a white man. That white man grew up and she slept with that white man and gave him kids. And now she said the kids that she had by a white woman's son is not allowed to bring a white woman home, even though they have a white grandmother. This is crazy, bro. This is this is schizophrenia. This is this is mental illness. This is cognitive deficiencies. This is low IQ behavior. This is not intelligent human being. This is not intelligent dialogue right here, bro. This is just not, I don't understand what's going on upstairs, bro. I don't understand what's going on upstairs, man. And you'll never see another woman checking another woman, bro. Like when it comes to men, I speak about this on my channel. When it comes to men, a man will check another man. A man has no problem telling another man, hey, bro, listen, bro. Shut up, man. You, you sound like a dumbass right now, bro. Like just, just stop talking, man. Stop talking, man. You, you just shut up, man. Just shut the fuck up, man. Like a man has no problem telling another man that telling another man you sound stupid as hell You should shut your mouth and stop talking bro because you keep talking I'm gonna roast the fuck out you because you sound like a goddamn dumbass a woman will never talk to another woman like that bro They will never tell their friend listen girl. I'm gonna I'm just keep it real with you You see you sound dumb as a box of rock. You sound dumb as a motherfucking sack of bricks You should just shut up for real. you should just shut your goddamn mouth and stop talking in case nobody told you before I'm gonna tell you as your friend as your homegirl as as you know your best friend. I'm gonna tell you Shut up man Shut up because that's what men do Man we gonna talk to our friends like that Pull them to the side and be like listen bro I don't know what got into you but you sounded goofy as hell today man Just just go home man <laughs> just, just go the fuck home bro Just go home man I have five sisters I keep repeating it I know how women talk to each other and the type of conversations They have behind closed doors They do not keep it real with each other man They don't keep it real Not like how men keep it real Not like how men keep it real Women do not keep it real they allow their friends to continue to fester in their ignorance and their stupidity and then they go out into the atmosphere they go out into the community and they repeat the bullshit they said amongst themselves and they get surprised when they get pushed back and people tell them you sound dumb as fuck stop talking you you really just stop talking bro just you, you sound goofy as hell they get they, they get upset they get triggered because nobody kept the real with them ever in their life nobody ever put them to the side and be like yo you sound dumb as hell <laughs> stop talking for two seconds and, and think about what you say before you open your goddamn mouth let's continue now this tweet I respect it. This tweet I respect it. Take a look up on the screen. She said this. She said, "Look, according to social media, I am no longer desirable to black men because I married a white man. So do what y'all want." The reason why I say I respect it was because a lot of black women don't have that level of self awareness. They really think that they could go off, run off with the European, and they really think that black men of the upper echelon of the highest caliber is supposed to inherit them, bring them into the fold, bring them into his circle, bring them into his family. Even though she knows, she knows. She's the white man's trash. She knows. She knows. She's not worthy of a black man of any value. She knows that. She knows that. She knows. She knows what it is. But I respect her level of awareness, her level of self-awareness. She knows what it is. A lot of black women will delude themselves into thinking that they're not the white man's trash. And sometimes you got to remind them that they're the white man's trash by cutting them off and ghosting them, blocking them off your phone, blocking them on Instagram, blocking them off email. That's how you let them know, bitch, you're the white man's trash. Don't ever hit my phone ever again. But I respect her because she understands I picked my side and I'm standing on my side. I understand the black men that I would want to get with. They don't want to deal with me no more. She, she said it. She said, I'm no longer desirable to black men because I'm with a white man. She understands that. I respect that because hopefully if they divorce, God forbid, she going to stay in her lane. She going to stay on that side. She's not going to come by the black men, come around and try to talk about this pro-black bullshit. Because what happens is this is what happens in real life. Most times, most times they're not. What happens is when a chick is young, right? When a chick is young, you know, she gonna be dealing with the United Nations, right? She gonna be dealing with the United Nations. Like that chick that we talking about, she got a whole bunch of sugar daddies and she up in the club, you know, chasing after white men and shit like that. Yeah, when they're young, this is what they doing. They dealing with the United Nations, right? Then when they get older, now it's, I gotta start a black family. I want black children. I want I want beautiful black families and a black husband in the, in, the, in the bends in the driveway. And I want an intelligent black man with a good job and a good income to take care of me for the eternity. Now, in my opinion, like I said, 
I think there's something wrong. You know, I think there's some cognitive deficiencies going on up there because you would never hear a Jewish woman talking about, yeah, when I'm young, I want to go run after the Nazis and I got a Nazi sugar daddy. But when I get older, I want to I want an intelligent Jewish man so I can raise my kids in the Jewish faith and have a Jewish family and, and live happily ever after. You would never hear any other race of woman try to push this nonsense, especially try to play the, the pro black card at the same time talking about don't ever bring a white woman to my family. Like I said, the hypocrisy is at a level where I don't even understand it. I can't even comprehend it. If anybody can get into the comment section, hopefully a female, can you get into the comment section and break it down for me, break down the science so I can understand why y'all think the way y'all think because I don't really understand it as somebody who operates off logic. One plus one equals two. Three plus three equals six. Two times two equals four. Seven times three equals 21. Like I'm just logic based. I'm just, I'm just, you know, dealing with the facts. I don't deal in the abstract. I don't deal in the gray area. I don't deal in that realm that y'all operate in where nothing makes sense. That only makes sense to y'all. I don't understand it. Hey, black women, can y'all get into the comment section and let me know? Because the stuff that y'all say, it only makes sense to y'all. The people like me and the rest of us, you know, the rest of the human race that lives in reality, we don't really understand how y'all operate mentally. You know what I mean? So I really don't want to think that, a, that the majority of y'all got autism or something like that. So if y'all can get into the comment section and, you know, break it down, break it down like a science for your boy, I would appreciate that. Now, let's continue. Now, next tweet, she said this. If you aren't willing to come and fight me because I married a white man, then stay the F out my mentions because I don't have to justify a damn thing to you. Now, listen, her son, her biracial son, her mixed breed son, who is not even who's not even um, he's really a white man, because to be honest, the majority of people in the United States, y'all don't really got 100 percent African DNA like that. Y'all y'all bloodline already tampered with the white man already your great 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 grandmama so y'all ain't really coming through the door 100 percent african dna y'all coming in through the door you know 70 percent african 80 percent african 67 percent african you know tina turner i think she was like 30 percent white so like that's the average right there so the majority of y'all already coming in a little mixed race so then you mix the race even more so your kid coming out he only like 30 percent black right so your kid barely black you know what i mean and the kid is barely black and he's not allowed to bring any white woman home and he has a white grandmother and a white father and a white auntie and a white cousin and it's crazy, man. Y'all are retarded. I'm going to say it right now. Y'all are retarded. That's why I don't deal with no black woman that deals outside her race. Because I realize the black woman that did outside their race, y'all are a little less intelligent than everybody else. Now, let's continue. Next tweet. She said this. After being with this white man for almost four years, my overall attraction to white guys has grown. Like, I'm thinking of a two-guy threesome with my husband and another white dude. But if it's a two-girl threesome, it's me and another black woman. Now, brother, if y'all needed any more proof... Why as a black man, you should just run for the hills anytime a black woman tell you she did outside her race. Because these are the type of shenanigans that's happening behind closed doors. And God forbid, God forbid you end up running into a chick like this. Now, I'm not saying her in particular, but God forbid you run into a chick like this with a history of dating outside her race. And then God forbid you put a ring on it and put kids inside her goddamn womb and, and makes her the, make her the mother of your goddamn kid. Make her the wife in your family. God forbid, man. God forbid. These are the shenanigans happening behind closed doors, right? These women hate white women so much. Think about it, bro. The white woman, like I said, I'm going to keep repeating it. The white woman gave birth to the white man. Without the white woman, there would be no white man for her to even chase after and, and lust over and dream about and worship. She has to get on her knees every night and thank God to the white woman. You know, praise God, the white woman. Thank you, white woman, for giving me the white man. Thank you. You know, praise, praise Lord. You know what I mean? You got to praise God for the white woman because without the white woman, there would be no white man. And think about it, bro. She would be willing to invite another black woman into her bed so her husband can live out his 18th century plantation fantasies where he's busting down two black women in the slave quarters. Or she's willing to invite another white man into the goddamn bed to get bust down at the same goddamn time like a black woman on a Caribbean plantation back in the 17th century. So this, this is the mindset. This is the mindset that you're dealing with, bro. And they got the nerve to stand up in your face and say that my biracial son, my white son can't bring a white woman home. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy, bro. I'm saying salute to the white man taking these women off our hands, bro, because we got nothing for them. We can't do nothing with them. You cannot do anything with somebody who's mentally. I don't want to insult anybody who's genuinely suffering from any cognitive deficiencies, but you cannot build anything with anybody who's mentally just not on point. I'll say it like that. You cannot build a foundation with anybody who's mentally not on point, right? Like, honestly, man, like, I think a lot of problems could be avoided if women would just be honest with other women, right? You know you got a friend. You know your girlfriend is a little slow. You know she's a little retarded. You know she's a little dumb. You know what I mean? But you don't ever pull her to the side and be like, sis, just, just sis, you, you're just not the smartest. You know, maybe just 
maybe like when we go out just stop talking so much like go on social media stop talking so much like just be quiet a little bit sis like you, you're not the smartest man like because brothers when it comes to men we're gonna, we gonna check our homies man we're gonna be like yo that's that dumb nigga over there man he always talking some dumb shit man shut up bro go in the back seat <laughs> dumb ass nigga listen shut up man you know women do not keep it real with their friends so what happens is there, you know, you let your slow friend out into the atmosphere, and your slow friend just be just talking a whole bunch of bullshit, and it gets it gets thrown back on the collective because you never check each other, right? It is what it is. We all have a bunch. Of, we all have slow friends, you know. We all have that slow cousin, that slow friend, that's a little, you know, a little dumb. But y'all don't ever check y'all dumb friends, and that's the problem. I think there has to be a change in the culture. Y'all gotta, you gotta check y'all dumb friends, man. Check out dumb friends. Let them know when it comes to this, you know, black community stuff, black community talk, pro black dealing with the community. Tell them, listen, that's not your, that's not your expertise. That's not your, that's not your strong point. Just sit down and be quiet. It is what it is. Just sit down and be quiet, man. Next tweet, she said this: White women are the enablers of white men, which is why people argue that white women are the true villains. So what she's saying is. White men are not really the the perpetrators of any of any atrocities that ever happened throughout humanity. It wasn't white. It wasn't white man's fault. It wasn't white man doing it. The real perpetrator was the white women. The white men are innocent. It's the white women that that's really at fault that we gotta that we gotta bring to trial. The white man, he's a victim of the white woman. The white woman told him to do that. It was the white woman enabled him to do that. The white man is really a good man. He's really a good person. It's just his mama and his sister and his daughter and his niece and his godmother and his grandma. Those are the real, those are the real demons. Those are the real, yeah, those are the real ones. Those are the real, yes, those are the ones we got to go after. The white man, he's innocent. He's innocent. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. He didn't do it. And it comes back to an interesting point that I spoke on in my videos talking about Ebony K. Williams. I spoke about... When you look at history, right, when you look at especially the history during slavery, the, the European colonies, and you saw how many mixed race children were created between white men and black women, and you realize damn near every single time that happened, the mixed race children of the black women, they took the sides of the white men. They took the sides of their white fathers every single time. They took the sides of their white fathers against the blacks, against the, the fully blacks with the black mothers and the black fathers. They went against the black Africans, the mixed race with the with the black mother, they went against the black men and black women who didn't have any racial mixture. They went against them. And we even spoke about in 1799, that civil war in Haiti during the Haitian Revolution between Toussaint Louverture and Andre Rigaud. Andre Rigaud, as we know, a mixed race man with a black mother. And you wonder why he probably had a black mother just like this woman on the goddamn screen who raised him to look up to his white father and take up the interests of his white father. And that's why I never listen to these women when they talk about a mixed race child with a black mother will be more in tune with their blackness, with their black culture. That History does not support that. History shows that mixed race individuals with black mothers have been traditionally the biggest sellouts, the biggest traitors, the ones that play both sides of the goddamn fence, the ones who cannot be trusted. You have a white father, you cannot be trusted. It is what it is. Because like I said, the woman takes on the politics of the man. The woman takes on the ideology of the man. I guarantee that bullshit that she said was probably something her white man told her. Oh, it wasn't our fault, baby. You know, it was, it was the white woman that really enabled us, you know. We didn't really do nothing, you know. When we had you enslaved, it was the white woman that told us to do it. We didn't even want to do it for real. We didn't want to. We didn't want to go on the boats and go to Africa and, and conquer Africa. We didn't want to put you in slavery for twenty. Years. We didn't want to do it. We didn't want to do it. We really. We we didn't want to do it. We really wanted to give y'all. No, we didn't want to do it. It was the white woman that made us do it. You understand? The white woman convinced us to do it. We didn't want to do it, man. We were innocent. We were the victims. We were the innocent victims. And you know her dumb ass. She's sitting back fantasizing about two white men running the train on her. So she said back like, oh, yeah, baby, I mean, yeah, it's true. You know, it really was the white woman's fault. Yeah, it was. It was the white. Yeah, it was. I, yeah, I get it, baby. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, yeah. That's why our son can never date a white. Yeah, it, yeah, I understand. I get it. Yeah. That's why I tell y'all boys, stay away from any black woman that dates outside her race. Doesn't matter what she tells you. Mentally, she's not all the way there. Mentally, she's not all the way there. No matter how good she looks, no matter how good she sounds when she opens her mouth, mentally, she's not all the way there. And it's in your best interest for you to pack your bags and run to the hills and make an escape route, make your exit plan and get the hell out of there, bro. Get the hell out of there. As soon as she tells you she was running around mixing and mingling with different races, get up out of there right now. Pronto, ASAP, ASAP, pronto. And this has been an excellent tool of colonization and conquering because the mixed race children of the white men and the black women have always played a middleman role to carry out the interests of European nations. Going all the way back to the Portuguese that landed on the coast of Africa and began to mate with the local women. And then they put their mixed race children in a position of power 
to become businessmen, to become merchants and entrepreneurs during the slave trade, going all the way back to the mixed race children back on the Caribbean islands that ended up owning plantations. Did you know about one third of the plantations in Haiti during the French colonial period were owned and controlled by the sons of black women, the mixed race sons of black women and white men. They controlled about a third of the plantation economy. So don't ever listen to these women when they tell you that somehow a mixed race child with a black mother is going to be more in tune with his blackness because those of us who study history already understand the mixed race child with the black mother, he's the first one in line to sell out the whole race. That's the number one sellout that we've ever known. Now, next tweet. Let's continue. This lady said, she goes by the name Medusa. She said, the amount of black people mad at this is outrageous. Y'all do know that other races feel this exact same way about y'all, right? And number two, you should want to keep your bloodline pure. We are magic. Why taint it? Now, like I said, man, these fake pro-black, we are magic. You know, the bloodline, the, the, the pure black bloodline, the black family, the black love. You know why I say y'all frauds and fakes? Because like I said, I got five sisters. I've never, ever heard them ever speaking amongst themselves in their private quarters, in their private conversations, talking about we got to keep the bloodline pure. We got to keep the black race alive. We got to keep the black community alive. They don't talk like this in private. They don't talk like this in private. But in public, when they're talking to black men, we got to keep the bloodline pure. Why taint, why taint the black magic? Why taint the black magic? I'm telling you, bro. Sometimes it just gets like, like, how long are they going to keep up this goddamn charade? Like, give it up already. Like, give it up. Like, nobody's buying this fake pro-black bullshit y'all trying to sell. Nobody's buying it. Nobody's buying it except y'all. Like, nobody's buying it because behind closed doors, y'all don't talk like this. Behind closed doors in y'all private conversations, y'all be ready to give up the black race and give up the goddamn black magic. Y'all don't give a fuck about no black magic. Y'all some frauds, man. Stop talking to me. We got to keep it pure. Why taint it? Why t They never, ever tell another black woman, why taint the black magic? Why you tainting the black magic? They only say that to black men because they're trying to run game. They're trying to run game, and I'm not going for it. I'm not going, bro. I'm not going. Next tweet. This lady said this. My baby already know he can't bring no white bitch home. Next tweet. Let's keep the bloodline pure. Bro, like I said, they don't ever speak like this among each other. They never, ever tell another black woman keep the bloodline pure. When it comes to black men, though, all of a sudden... They become Khalid Muhammad. Oh, we got to keep the bloodline pure. The Neanderthal blood can't get into our DNA. Our, our black genetics from, from Mother Africa, the gold, the black melanin, the black melanin race. Shut the fuck up, bro. Shut up, man. Shut up. Like, God damn. Shut up, man. Like, I got to say it because your, your, your homegirls won't say it. I got to say it because your friends won't say it. I got to say it because your best friends won't say it. Shut up, man. You sound like an amateur corner hustler. You sound like a goddamn amateur con artist on the corner trying to sell a goddamn bootleg DVD. Shut up, man. God damn. God. Like, you know, it gets frustrating trying to hear someone lie to you over and over and over and over for years and years and years. Just fucking lie. Just as a collective, as a collective, just lie to you, bro, over and over. Like, someone got to put their foot down and just say, yo, enough is enough, man. Stop talking. Stop putting on this fake pro-black act. Nobody's buying it. Nobody cares. It's not, it's not convincing. You're a joke. You're a clown as a collective. Now, let's continue. Next tweet. Take a look up on the screen. This lady right here said, I don't care how anybody feel about it. So obviously she agrees. Her son will not be allowed to bring a white woman home to the family. Now, take a look up on the screen. I don't know who this white man is. He looked like the goddamn Mexican that came by the other day to mow my lawn and clean my backyard. And she said, the only white boy that could get it. So listen, man, listen. Listen, she don't care how anybody feel about it. My son will never bring home a white woman. Meanwhile, the damn white boy that looks like my Mexican lawnmower, he can get it, though. He can get the cheeks, though. He can get the cheeks free of charge, but but her son can't bring home his sister, though. Her son can't bring home his cousin, though. It's, it's insane. It's insanity. It's hypocrisy. It's mental deficiency. It's mental illness. It's insanity. It's psychosis. It's schizophrenia on the highest level. Somebody call the pharmacy. Get the prescription. Get the medication immediately. Immediately. Let's continue. Next tweet. This lady said, I swear, I don't care. Y'all not ruining my line with Caucasian blood. Bro, women do not talk like this amongst themselves. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you behind closed doors, they are not talking to each other like this, talking about going to ruin the bloodline with Caucasian blood. They are not talking like this. In the in behind closed doors, in reality, they are cheering each other on to wipe out their genetic code, to wipe out their entire bloodline. When it comes to wiping out the bloodline, they cheering in the goddamn seat. Woo! 
wipe out the bloodline, girl. Wipe out the bloodline. Wipe out. They, they break dancing together. Girl, wipe it down the bloodline. Wipe it out the bloodline. Wipe it out the bloodline. Wipe it out. Wipe it out. Wipe. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. Wipe it out. Wipe it out. Wipe it out. Bro, in real life, they ready to wipe out the bloodline ASAP. Don't let this pro black shit fool you. They don't give a fuck about the bloodline. They don't give a goddamn about their ancestors. They don't care about the history. They don't care about their culture. They don't care about their race. They don't care about their identity. This group of women, they don't care about nothing, bro. They're just putting on this act for you. You know why they always put out that pro-black act? Because they want to fall back on the black men who are so-called pro-black. That's why I don't call myself pro-black because pro-black is for suckers. Pro-black is for sucker niggas. <laughs> pro-black is for sucker niggas. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna be no sucker. So pro-black is for suckers. And that's why they put on this pro-black act. So when they get done jumping on the white man dick like a pogo stick, they can run back to your dumb ass. But it ain't gonna be me. I'll tell you that right now, playboy. It ain't gonna be me. Now, let's continue. Now, take a look up on the screen. This lady right here said, On God, both my kids, I don't care how nobody feel, we marry and create with our people. Period. Now, take a look up on the goddamn screen. She said, Now, for real, what if my soulmate is a white man? Let's continue. She went on to say, I'm about to get me a white man. Let's continue. She went on to say, I need friends on the same mindset as me on the road to rich and famous mindset. I want an old white man to spoil me mindset. <laughs> I'm not even gonna give no commentary, man. Let's continue. Next tweet. This lady obviously agrees as well. She said, same. I don't care how dumb people think this is. Don't even do it. Now, Take a look up on the screen. She said this. People always clowning my baby for being for a white man, but 80% of my mama's family is light skinned. She went on to say, the most traumatic thing I ever did was have a man's baby. She went on to say, can I at least get a ring? Damn, I got the baby already. She went on to say, I want my kid to know who he is early. You are fully black and that he is not privileged like these other kids so he won't be influenced to fit in because TV be having these mixed kids looking lost and confused. So that right there, that's a lady, another one who has a baby for a white man, saying that her white son, her white son, because I told you, I guarantee she is not 100% African DNA. It's not a 50-50 even split. When you, when you mix and mingle with a white person, nine times out of 10, the white person is coming in with a majority European DNA, damn near 100%. You coming in with your weak, watered down African DNA, 72%, 74%, 82%. You know what I'm saying? That shit watered down. It ain't the original, you know what I mean? Potent, you know, OG strain. So you come in already watered down and weakened because the white man, you know, took your, took your goddamn great grandmother behind the damn woodshed, behind the slave quarters and busted down two centuries ago. So now you ain't even coming through as a fully black man or woman. You already watered down with the European blood. And then you watered it down even further. So now what happens is she's trying to raise this white kid, this white kid up as a black man. You are fully black, even though in reality, he's probably only 28 percent black, if you want to be honest, because she said her whole family is light skinned. The whole damn family is light skinned. So the kid is probably damn near like 29 percent. He's, he's hanging on by a thread. He's barely a black man. Barely, barely. You know what I mean? He probably looks like God. Damn, he barely he barely a black man. But. She went and had a baby bow. She already done watered down the bloodline. Like the, what the lady said, the black magic. Yeah, she already, she tainted the black magic. And now she's trying to double back. And now guess what? I guess she was, I don't know. The white man didn't put a ring on it. Now she mad. She a baby mama for a white man. The white man, you know, left her with a kid. Now she upset. Can I get a ring? I already got the baby. The worst mistake I made was having a baby. I had a kid for, I had a baby for a white man. Man, listen, a joke, a clown, a joke, a clown, a joke. Like the majority of you fake pro-black women that I look at. A clown show, a joke. You're nothing but a punchline in my eyes. You're a joke. Let's continue. Next tweet. This lady by the name of Ranisha, she said this. I always say this. They better the fuck not. So obviously, she does not want her son to bring home a white woman, right? Take a look up on the screen. She said this. White men know they be stepping when they get them a sister. Take a look up on the screen. Y'all niggas steady mating with these white hoes. <laughs> Bro, she gave she gave the she gave the heart eyes. She said white men know they be stepping when they get them a sister. And then she put the emoji with the hand over the face and the rolling of the eyes when she said, Y'all N-words, y'all niggas. Y'all niggas mating with these white hoes. But white men, they be stepping when they get them a sister. See, they're sisters. They're sisters and white men. They're men and sisters. But black men and white women, y'all niggas and hoes. 
I just gotta, I just gotta let that breathe for a second, man. Keep in mind, white women are the ones that gave birth to the white men that they worship, like they Jesus Christ. But the white women are white hoes, and the black men who they give birth to, they're just niggas. They're black niggas. This is the mentality of the pro-black female, bro. This the this the mentality. So don't don't say I'm crazy when I say I don't deal with the pro-black female. I don't deal with her. It's gonna take a lot. It's gonna take a lot for a so-called pro-black female to impress me. For me to let my guard down and let her in. It's gonna take a lot. She's gonna have to move oceans and mountains and land and sea and, and motherfucking turn water into wine and, and fast for 40 days in the desert and come back alive. And then, you know, she's gonna have to do a lot. She's gonna have to do a lot, bro. She's gonna have to do a lot. She's gonna have to work miracles for me to look at her in a positive light. I'm sorry. I don't look at none of y'all in a positive light. All y'all frauds and fakes and phonies and counterfeit, get the fuck out of my face. Next tweet. She went on to continue. She said, let me get my hands on a fine white boy. She went on to continue and she said, white boys winning. It didn't stop there, my brother. She went on to continue and she said once again, where the white boys at? And then this was the most egregious. Take a look up on the screen. I love black men that love black women. Black fist up in the air, black fist up in the air, black fist up in the air. <laughs> when I tell y'all boys, pro black, black fist up in the air, white dick up in the mouth. Pro black female, you a fraud. I don't want nothing to do with you. Let me tell you the list of women that I'll choose above a pro black female because that's how much disdain and disgust I have towards the pro black female. I'll choose the ratchet black female before the pro black female. I'll choose, who else will I choose? I'll choose the goddamn, the mixed race female above the, the full blooded pro black female. The mixed race female who's not a fraud, who's not a fake pro black hustler con artist. I'll choose her. Yeah, I'll choose her. I'll choose a goddamn mixed breed who got her head on straight. I'll choose who else will I choose? I'll choose basically any demographic of female before the fake con artist pro black female. Because that's how much disdain and disgust I have for liars and frauds and con artists in general. In general, bro. And it's not a gender thing because y'all know on my channel I go in on Tweet and Sheet all the time. So when it comes to the pro black fraud, it's not nothing that is gender based. When it comes to the pro black fraud that's a man too, I hate him too. I hate all of them. I hate all y'all. All y'all get my equal amount of hatred. I hate all y'all. I wish I would disappear forever, but you won't. You're still here. You're still here, and you, we haven't got rid of you yet. Why don't you just leave, bro? Why are you still around? Why are you hanging around? Why are you, why are you still loitering around? Like the, the, the fake pro-black man and woman, why are you around? Why are you still here? What purpose do you serve but to cause confusion and, and chaos amongst our ranks? What purpose do you serve? When you're not busy laying up with white folks, you come around causing chaos and, and, and causing confusion and disruption and dissension amongst our ranks. Why? Why are you here? What purpose do you serve? You serve no purpose. I love black men that love black women. Could you believe that, bro? So we supposed to bring home the white man's goddamn trash, man. Man, listen, bro. Listen, bro. If that's what black men got to look forward to, then I understand the brothers that say, I never get married. I understand that. I was never that type of brother, man. Cause I was raised. My parents were married over 30 years. My grandparents were married damn near 70 years. My you know, like I come from a long line of black marriage, black love. Like I don't come from I don't come from dysfunction. I come from stability. I come from I come from black power. I come from black excellence. I come from, you know, black academic achievement. I come from black economic achievement. Right? But it's so hard to find a woman equally on that level, man, who got her head on straight. The majority of y'all, I hate to say it, the majority of y'all are goofy. And the ones that are not goofy, y'all never check the ones that are goofy for whatever reason. So therefore, you goofy too. You're a goofy motherfucker too. So y'all just goofy as fuck. And it's a shame because so many of my people, so many of y'all were just raised in this function and this bullshit that I can't even relate to my own people, man. I can't relate to my own people. I can't relate to my own women because so many of y'all got a dysfunctional mindset because all y'all know is dysfunction. All y'all know is hustling and, and con artists and low level bullshit y'all don't know no real black excellence y'all don't know nothing about that y'all don't y'all don't know nothing about black love for real y'all just fakes and con artists man fakes and con artists y'all don't got a single original thought inside your goddamn head and it's a shame that the good the good women the good black women the good pro-black women gotta suffer for the majority it is what it is because the minority will never check the majority so therefore all y'all get thrown into the same boat all y'all ain't shit let's continue Take a look up on the screen. This lady right here said, nah, for real. I don't give a F about none of that y'all talking about for real. So obviously she also agrees that her son will not be allowed to bring a white woman home. Now, take a look up on the screen. She said, it's a white guy on my Snapchat. He messaged me every time I post something. He's old. I'm finna make him my sugar daddy. Next tweet. 
I don't understand caping for rich white billionaires. They literally profit off a system designed for them to succeed and no one else. To say that they work for anything and shouldn't have to help humanity at all is preposterous. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God, bro. <laughs> Chick literally said I'm about to get this old white man in my damn Snapchat to be my sugar daddy so I can lay up and just take his money and do nothing and suck his dick. But I can't believe y'all caping for white, white billionaires and they profit off a system designed for them to succeed and they need to help humanity. And bro, I cannot stand these fake left marxist you know socialist sucking white dick like you just uh, yo bro yo yo bro i understand why y'all boys be talking about y'all just going to the goddamn post office and getting the passport made because i understand i get it bro now i'm not going to no thailand no asia but listen i'm going straight to mama africa bro i'm going straight to mama africa i'm going straight to the islands bro I'm going straight to the islands to the girls that be that be in the countryside, you know what I mean? Milking, milking goats and shit like that. Milking goats and planting crops and just living off the land and, you know, eating what she grows and just living off of nature. Just, you know, under the sun, you know, just living beautiful, man. Just, I can't be, I, I got to get away from y'all, man. I got to get away from y'all women up in the West. Y'all women in the West, I got to get away from y'all, man, because the West, the, the black women in the West, just, their head is not on straight, man. Their head is not on straight. Their head is just not on straight. It's just not on straight, man. Next tweet. She said, that's a white boy I would gladly date. And I guess she's talking about somebody named Ross Lynch. I don't know who that is. Take a look up on the screen. That's the, that's the brother. You know what I mean? Now, keep in mind, this lady said she came in straight gangster. Like, I don't care what nobody think. My son will never get with a white man. I mean, my son will never get with a white woman. Meanwhile, this is the type of white man that she would gladly be first in line to date. White boy looking like a goddamn Disney Channel character or something like that. Looking like he's from the sweet life of Zack and Cody or something like that. And now, keep in mind, she was like, black power, black power. My son will never, my son will never get with a white woman. And let a goddamn white boy from Disney Channel walk in the building. And all of a sudden, she ready to, she ready to throw away the black magic. You remember that other chick? Oh, the black magic. Uh, the black magic. We're magic. Black people are magic. We got to keep the bloodline pure because we're magic. But then as soon as a goddamn white boy from goddamn Sue Life of Zack and Cody walk in the building, as soon as a goddamn white boy from Disney Channel walk in the building or Nickelodeon walk in the building, now all of a sudden, the black magic going in the garbage. That's why I say, that's why I say, I'm not dealing with the pro-black female. The culture of the pro-black female is a culture of dishonesty, deception, deceit, fraudulence, con artists, counterfeit, fraudulent, fake, lies, bro. Lies, lies, lies. If you're a pro-black female, nine times out of ten, you a liar. You a liar off the rip. I think it's a goddamn requirement. I think it's a requirement to be a pro-black female. You got to be a fucking liar. You got to be a liar, a hustler, a huckster, a, 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 a con man. You know what I mean? A con woman. It is what it is. You got to be full of shit to be pro, a pro-black female. You got to be full of shit to be a pro-black female is to be full of shit. And I'm sorry for those who are who don't fall under that category, which the majority of you do. So I don't care to make the separation because if 95% of somebody is doing something, who cares about the 5%? Who cares, bro? Like, who cares? Like, if 95% of somebody, if 95% of a population is doing drugs, who cares to acknowledge the 5% that's sober? All y'all are some goddamn drug addict degenerates. It is what it is. Let's continue. Next tweet. This lady who goes by the name of Ariana Bradley, she said this. My son is going to know better than that for sure. She went on to say. We dug up in the catalog. She said, I don't care what I go through with black men. I'm never going to white men. A white man getting this bomb ass pussy is treason. Bro, listen, bro. Listen, I know y'all boys heard that and was like, oh, she a real one. Yeah, she a real one. Yeah, she a real one. Yeah, she a real one. No, 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 no. Pump your brakes, man. Pump your brakes, man. Pump your brakes, man. Pump your brakes, man. Pump your brakes. As a man, you should never be so easily impressed by sweet words. So until further notice, we dumping her in the same pot as all the other goddamn frauds and con artists. The only thing is, we don't got the evidence to bring to the courtroom just yet, but it is what it is, man. Like I said, damn near 95% of them is on some bullshit, so who cares about the 5%? The 5% is probably already married anyway, so it don't even matter. It don't even matter. The 5% that's really genuine is probably already taken, already married, already got kids, already, you know what I mean? So, the ones that are not taken, I mean, you probably got 1% out of those who actually are about what they say and then the rest of them is just running some game they just run they just running some game bro like it's, it's, it's just some game it's just it's just comedy entertainment to them they don't really mean none of that shit bro they just uh, you know trust me bro next comment next tweet let's go in the next tweet she said this 
Before moving to the South, I never experienced this much white man harassment. They will touch you. They will grab you. One even kissed me on the cheek while I was working, and he was drunk. I promise you, they still think they own us. Listen, ladies, the reason why they still think they own you is because just like me, they can see the bullshit too. They can see, oh, man, you oh, shut, shut that pro-black shit up. Get, get, get over here, wench. Get over here, wench. You know what I mean? Like, they know they know you a fucking clown. They know they know most of y'all are clowns. The reputation, your reputation precedes you. Your reputation precedes you. They still, oh, oh man, who cares? That, that pro-black shit they talking about, oh, that's nothing, man. She'll suck, she'll suck a dick tonight. Man, she, man, man, listen, the reputation you've built, the reputation you've built is one where a white man feels he can walk up to you, touch you, grab you, kiss you, grab your ass, talk crazy to you, and treat you like a goddamn bed wench because that's the energy y'all give out to the to the world. It's not just me that sees it. It's not just black men that sees it. The whole world can see. Even white women, even white men see it, and white women see it too. But you know, white women they don't they don't waste time going back and forth with y'all. But everybody sees that y'all are some schizophrenic, double minded weirdos. For the vast majority of y'all, fake pro black females, everybody can see like nobody takes it serious. Yo, oh, yeah, pro black, yeah, black power, black power, yeah, my aunt, yeah, whatever. Okay, get over here, wench. You know what I'm saying? That's the mentality that y'all have enabled white men to have because the majority of y'all, unfortunately, are a bunch of double minded, schizophrenic clowns and goofies who do not live what you say. You do not follow your doctrine that you put out. You do not practice what you preach. So that's why white men can feel they can do whatever the hell they want and walk up to you in the goddamn middle of the street or in the middle of the club and grab you and grab your arm and, and harass you as you say it because your sisters have created a reputation for you to where you are seen as the. I don't want to insult my sisters, but you do not have the greatest reputation in the world, right? Men see you as, oh, yeah, we can smash that tonight. Oh, she says she don't like white men. Oh, who cares? She'll suck a dick tonight. That's the mentality that you have enabled white men to have, unfortunately. And unfortunately, it's halfway accurate, right? It's halfway accurate because you're, you never check your sisters. You never check your sisters. So your sisters have now created a reputation for you to where everyone sees you as easy target. That's easy. That's, that's target practice, man. That's target practice, man. Target practice. And it's unfortunate that the women of my race have to have a reputation to where you're seen as target practice or easy smash to other groups of men. It's unfortunate, but you created this reputation for yourself. Now, let's continue. She went on to say... White men made the gun as an equalizer for black men. Without them, I'm sure we wouldn't be enslaved. Now, listen, man, listen. I done heard it all, man. I done heard it all from the mouth of the pro-black female. I done heard it all. I done heard every single pickup line there is. Oh, the white man made the gun as the equalizer for the black man. And they could never stop the white man without... Now, listen, I just dropped a video the other day saying that exact same thing, but... I'm not gonna fall victim to that bullshit, man. Get out of here, man. We, we gotta pull up your credentials. We gotta, we gotta see your credentials, man, because... Listen, I done been around, I done been on dates with black women that they know all, they know all the history, all the lingo, all the jargon, all, everything, everything, they know it all, they know it all, man, oh, they know it all, trust me, they got a script, they know it, they know it, because they know when they gotta get around an intelligent black man, a conscious black man, they know they got a code switch, I done been around them, oh yeah, they, oh, they, they, they talk good, bro, they talk good, they talk good, they talk good, bring up the topic of interracial dating, they start stammering and bumbling and bumbling, what? Bro, immediately bring up the topic of interracial dating. They go from talking all this this black power, all this race talk. Oh yeah, the, the black man. Yeah, they created the gun for the black man, the equalizer for the black man. And then interracial dating. Well, you know, we're the human race. You know, yeah, you know, back in college, back in college, you know, I didn't really know who I was back in college. You know, back in college, you know, I did have, you know, I did have, yeah, back in college, you know, but I was young. I was young and dumb. You know, I was young. I, I would never do it now, though. I would never do it now. Bro, I done heard it all, man. I done heard women with better scripts than this. Better scripts than this. I done heard... I knew women that the knew, that knew about battles between European armies and African militaries. And they know all that shit, bro. They know all the, the names of the generals and the dates of the... And the, the year that the battle took place and the, the different historical events. And at the end of the day, she still got in bed with a goddamn white man and jumped on his dick like a pogo stick. So, I don't, I don't get impressed by none of that shit. Like I said. Like I said before. A pro-black female, she gonna have to turn water into wine she gonna have to take the goddamn what did jesus do he took the bread and turned it into fish or something like that you're gonna have to goddamn split the goddamn red sea like moses so we can walk through that bitch you're gonna have to do something crazy you gonna have to do something next level for me to not you know take you out that box of i look at you like a pro-black fake counterfeit goofy like Tariq nasheed you're gonna have to do something you listen i'm telling you you're gonna have to be on a long probation period a long probation period because i don't trust none of y'all i've been through too much i've seen too much i heard too much I done been around the fake pro-black female too much. I done been on dates with so many of y'all. Oh, my God. Yo, y'all so fake. Y'all so fake. And it's a shame because this lady might be genuine. 
But because it's so many of y'all that's fake, even the genuines get lumped in with the fake. It's it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We got to stay protected. We got to move with strategic intelligence. Now, let's continue. This lady said, y'all mad in the quotes like every other race doesn't feel this way about us. Now, basically what she's saying is, you know, she doesn't know why the tweet is getting pushed back because other races feel the same exact way. They want to maintain their culture. They want to maintain their bloodline. But the difference is other races actually mean what they say, though. That's the thing. Other races are serious. Like, they're not trying to run some elaborate con game against their men. Like, you know, the women of those groups are not talking all this, you know, keeping inside the race, keeping inside the family. And they running off and sucking the dicks of their historical mortal enemies. They're not doing that. It's only the black woman doing that. It's only the it's literally only the black woman doing that, bro. It's literally only the black women doing that. And it's crazy because I respect my brothers who, when they run off with the white, like, for example, take LeBron James' son, right? Take LeBron James' son. When you see the black man run off with the white woman, he just stays in his lane. He not trying to act like Malcolm X. He not trying to act like Khalid Muhammad. He not trying to act like Kwame Ture. He not trying to act like Kwame Nkrumah. He not trying to act like Patrice Lumumba. He not trying to act like Jean-Jacques Dessalines. He not trying to act like Henry Christophe. He just often he just off in his location hanging out with the white women, having a good time. But when the when the black woman runs off with the white man, you still want oh, you trying to act like Harriet Tubman. Like, no. Stay in your lane, sit down, stop talking. Nobody takes you serious. You suck in a white man dick. Nobody wants to hear what you gotta say with the white man dick on your breath. Stop talking, man. You sound crazy, you look crazy. Nobody respect what you gotta say when it comes to, you know, the black community. So just stay off in your lane, man. Stay off in your lane. Run off with the white man. Go to Applebee's and you know, go to go go to the ice cream truck with the white man and just ha live happily ever after. Assimilate into the culture of your man like a good wife is supposed to. A good wife is supposed to assimilate and abide by the culture of their man. Go be a good wife. Go be a good mother, assimilate into the culture of your man, and leave the black community alone so we can get together. So the black man looking for black women can get together. The black woman looking for black men can get together. And we're not sitting, sitting confused and trying to dodge a bunch of landmines and a bunch of potholes and obstacles because your dumbass wants to make things more difficult and complicated than it already is because you're confused, you're schizophrenic, and you're suffering from some mental deficiency that you haven't got diagnosed just yet. And because of that, you're causing a lot of confusion within our ranks. You're really annoying. You serve no purpose. You're useless. Leave us alone. Coming from your boy Nefakari Dessaline, leave us the hell alone. To be honest, I'm about sick of y'all. I'm tired of y'all. <laughs> I'm about sick of y'all. Now, let's continue. Now, of course, they dug up into her catalog and they found this. Take a look up on the screen. She said, Gerald can get it. That's a fine ass white man. I'm sorry. I can't hold it in any longer. Now, listen, she just said other races. That's how they feel about it. It's other races. They want to keep everything in the family. And when she says Gerald, she's talking about G Easy. I heard about the rapper G Easy. You know what I mean? And yeah, take a look up on the screen right here. This is another interaction between her and another female. The lady at the top said, I'm so glad it's not just me. He's fine. And at the bottom, the same lady from before said, see, you get it. Now, take a look up on the screen. We got to see what G-Eazy look like. You know what I mean? We got to see what the hell she's talking about for her to, you know what I mean? Go from pro black, black fist up in the air. So all of a sudden, oh my God, I can't hold it in. I can't handle it. He's just, I can't handle it. You know what I mean? <laughs> My man looks like the bastard child of Bob Saget. You know what I mean? Y'all remember, you remember uh, Danny Tanner from Full House, that, that sitcom Full House? He looks like, he looks like the, the long lost, the long lost stepchild of, of Bob Saget. You know what I mean? And this is what she can't handle. She just went from pro black, black fists up in the air. We got to keep the bloodline pure. Other races, they feel the same way. We got to be like the other races and stick together. And a goddamn cokehead rapper who looks like Bob Saget's long lost nephew came up in the building. She ready to throw away all the black magic. All the pro black, black power, black fist up in the air, black magic. That's like that's like a goddamn black man talking about we got to keep the bloodline pure, the black race pure. And then talking about, take a look up on the screen, talking about, you know, M Miranda Cosgrove from iCarly. I can't handle it, bro. She's so bad. She's so fine. Oh, M Miranda Cosgrove from iCarly. She's, man, she fine. She bad. <laughs> yo, yo, y'all pro black women, man. Y'all pro black women, man. Y'all so... Y'all just, y'all just disgusted, man. <laughs> but my brother, it didn't stop there. Take a look up on the screen. She went on to say, who is that white man from Project Power? I want him. And she was talking about, I don't know this dude's name. I forget, but take a look up on the screen. She's talking about this dude right here who looks like my goddamn science teacher from the sixth grade. Yeah. Yeah. This type of, yeah, this type of dude, this type of white boy would have a, oh my God, I'm ready to throw, I'm ready to, I'm ready to throw away the black magic. This type of shit gets her weak in the knees and she pro black. This is the same woman that says, you see what other races think? We got to stay together because the other races, look how they look at us. 
Yo, that's what I'm saying. I heard all the script. I heard every single script from the pro black female. Oh, th- this is new though. This, this this was a new one. Oh, you heard what the other racist thing? We got you see what the other racist think about us? They're the same way. We got to be the same like the other races. And then in the same breath, this is who she gets weak in the knees for, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So, ladies, stop trying to deny the facts. Stop trying to stop trying to convince me that what I'm seeing is not what I'm seeing with my own two eyes. It is what it is, man. And I'm not the only one that sees it. A bunch of black men also see it. Even the white man sees it. That's why he's running up on y'all, harassing y'all in the goddamn street. You know what I mean? Treating y'all like he still owns y'all, according to that one chick, you know, early in the video. So, it is what it is, man. The reputation you created is due to your sisters. So, go talk to your sisters, but you won't. You will never check your sisters because women will never check other women. Women will never check other women. And therefore... Problems will never get solved. It is what it is. Let's continue. This brother said, make sure your son is reading above a grade level. Who he brings home is the last thing you need to worry about. Now, finally, when when the, when the man steps in the goddamn building, some logic and reason and intelligence finally begins to permeate the atmosphere. Jesus Christ. Anyways, next week. This person said, we never see white women tweeting retarded shit like this. Now, I'm not going to provide too much commentary on that because I don't know what white women tweet about. But I'll definitely say there's only one demographic of women who exhibit this level of just shameless hypocrisy and double minded schizophrenia on the world stage for everybody to see. That's all I'll say. I'm not going to say what demographic it is, but we can, you know, it is what it is. Let's continue. This lady said, I was talking to someone the other day, nine times out of ten, if you educate your children on our history, infiltration can be avoided. Show them how ugly it got for us. I'm sure they'll understand. Now, a lady who goes by the name of um, Ona Dashe, Ona Dashe, I'm telling you, bro, in their private conversations, women are not talking like this, bro. Women are not talking about, you know, we got to educate our kids on our history so they can know how, how ugly it got so infiltration can be avoided. No, no. She said, look at the word she used, infiltration. She said, infiltration. So how come when the white man infiltrate the bloodline, everybody cheering and back flipping and dancing and break dancing and doing cartwheels off the ceiling and woo! <laughs> Sister got a white man, woo! <laughs> they sound like goddamn Michael Jackson, woo! You know what I'm saying? Like, I w- w- I don't understand it. Y'all celebrate the infiltration. Y'all 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 belly dance for the infiltration. Y'all motherfucking do cartwheels and, and throw celebrations for the infiltration. And now all of a sudden, you see what I mean? They tune into all this black power revolutionaries when it comes to the black man. All of this conversation because LeBron James took a white girl to their prom. Now they talk about we being infiltrated by the white folks. Infiltration. We got to educate our children. We got to give education to avoid infiltration. Nigga, shut the shut your dumb ass up, man. Shut your dumb ass up. Guarantee if one of her homegirls said I met up with a white dude off a date now, she gonna be like, go sis, tell me tell me how it went, sis. Yeah, sis, tell me how it is. Call me afterward. Woo! Stop. 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 Just stop. That's all I can say. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm requesting. Just stop. So we can see who the real pro-black women are. Because as it stands right now, we don't know who is who. It's like guerrilla warfare. We don't know who is on we don't know who is the enemy. We don't know who's friend or foe. So as it stands right now, I gotta look at all of y'all like it's friend or foe. Like for example, when you go to the um like when the United States invaded Haiti in 1915, and the Haitian citizens took up guerrilla warfare against the US Marines, the US Marines didn't know who was a citizen. Who was a civilian? Who was a who was an enemy combatant? Who was an enemy soldier? Who was just a regular? You know what I mean? They didn't know because it was guerrilla warfare. So the U.S. Marines were just shooting everybody. You know what I mean? <laughs> they were just shooting everybody: man, women, children, the elderly, the babies. Everybody was getting shot with machine guns because the U.S. Marines didn't know who was friend or foe. So they they just put everybody in the same box. So that's why I'm saying I'm moving the same way. I'm throwing y'all all in the same box of frauds and counterfeits and goofies and phonies because I don't know who is who. Nobody is differentiating themselves. All of y'all say y'all pro-black. All of y'all say y'all y'all this and that, but I can't tell the difference. I don't know who is who. Can the real Slim Shady please stand up? Now, let's continue. This lady said, when I was younger and I had jungle fever, I asked my granddaddy, how would you feel if I brought a white dude home? All my granddaddy said was, what you think? That was my answer. I never dated a white guy. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, wow. She was raised amongst, She was raised by a black man. All right. Well, whatever. I mean, you raised by a black man. You had a granddaddy in your life, but you somehow managed to have a jungle fever. You know, a granddaddy who I'm sure was alive during, you know, Jim Crow. And you know what I mean? When people was getting hung from trees. But somehow his granddaughter ended up with jungle fever. 
how does that happen only only the lord himself can come down from the heavens and tell us even though i'm not even a christian but only jesus himself can tell us how the hell this happens <laughs> let's continue next week you know they had to dig up in the catalog and they found this take a look up on the screen she said when i used to dance i made the most money with white men and mexican men or old men the n-words would not fill in my little booty but they would always say you dance sexy though so listen bro she never dated a white man but she went she, she took it even further she stripped naked for white men and mexicans she stripped naked for for brad and pedro you know what i mean for 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 jacob and julio she stripped naked for dollar bills man they were stuffing dollar bills in between her musty crack and she claims that i never dated a white man though this is what's dangerous because a woman like this on a date will tell you i've never dated a white man but she won't tell you that i let white man put musty dollar bills dirty dollar bills in between my damn crack so i mean you might as well you might as well have dated them because you did 10 times worse than that so you know you had a grandfather in your life was probably raised on the jim crow and somehow his granddaughter ended up growing up with jungle fever and stripping for white men like yo bro how does this happen yo brothers how do y'all how do y'all how do y'all ha how does y'all have this happen bro i told y'all the women in my family would never ever need to strip for anybody because number one we can employ the women in my family the women the women in my family can work for their family and even if they didn't want to do that you know even if they didn't want to do that i would just give my little sisters money if my little sisters i told y'all if my younger sister said that money was tight and they were thinking about going down to the going down to the damn strip joint to get a job. I'll say, listen, sis, how much money you need a week, man? How much you, you in school part time? You working part? Listen, how much you need a week? Three hundred a week, four hundred a week. What, what you need, man? Because I'm not gonna let you go down to the damn club and get naked for them crusty degenerate for them crusty drunk degenerates down to the strip club. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. I will pay you to stay home. <laughs> I will pay you to stay home. So y'all boys must have been y'all boys must be broke out this motherfucker, man. Y'all boys must be broke. Y'all boys must be broke. Granddad should be ashamed. Granddad must be broke as a goddamn joke. Then pass down a goddamn liquor property, a liquor, a, a liquor wealth, a liquor money. His grandbaby out here twerking and busting it open for white men. This is a tragedy. Wow, man. Next tweet. This brother said, take a look up on the screen. You never hear my daughter knows better than to bring a white man to my family from black women. But this is commonly, this is a commonly shared sentiment about black boys and men. Interesting. I'm not even defending white women because I think they're the lamest women per capita, but it's funny to me though. Now you see some of the brothers' eyes are opening, you know what I mean? Some of the brothers, you know, their eyes is opening because they can see it's like I don't I don't understand this, bro. Like I don't understand when it comes to y'all, you know, you you welcome in the white man with open arms, you know what I mean? Like the goddamn Native Americans back in 1492, you know, you just on you, you on the coast of Hispaniola, you know what I mean? Welcome in the welcome in the ships of the Spanish. Yeah, white man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But when it comes to the black man, all of a sudden, now you turn into the African warrior, you know, defending the homeland, defending the motherfucking territory. You're a clown. You're a joke. Everybody can see it. You're a clown. You're a counterfeit. You're a fraud. You're a phony. Get out of our face, man. Leave us the fuck alone, man. We're tired of you. We're sick of you. We're tired of you sick. We're tired of you fake poor black women, bro. You're just a joke. Nobody takes you serious. Nobody takes you serious. Everybody laughs in your face. Behind your face. Actually, behind your back. Because, you know, we don't want you to play victim. Oh, my God. You hate black women. You hate us. You hate black women. Huh? No, no, no. Everybody can see the, the black man, the white man, the white woman. Everybody can see you're just a fraud. You're a phony. And it's going to be extra spicy if white women ever decide to get up one day and try to sun your ass and be like, listen, you better you better pay homage for me. For me, you know, raising up the white man and giving birth to the white man and putting the white man on this earth so you can chase after my creation. Listen, y'all going to look real stupid when the white women start flexing on y'all dumb ass. So anyway, let's continue. This lady said, I've been telling my son this for years. And then she went on to say, I'm seriously about to get me a white man. Then she went on to say, this white man is so in love with me. He's quaint too. I'm about to become a sugar baby. She went on to say, I want to marry a rich white man. Now, listen, man, she got the name Haitian princess in her goddamn name. She got the name Haitian princess in her goddamn name. Now, generally, even though I'm pretty much equally disgusted by all you fake counterfeit pro-black women, when it comes to the Haitian women who get engaged in this type of behavior, it's just an extra, an extra level of disgust because, you know, you just think about, damn, so this is what our foremothers got drowned in the Caribbean Sea for? This is what Dessaline died for? This is what Christoph shot himself for? This is what Toussaint Louverture died in prison for? Hmm. Oh, wow. This is what they died for. This is what General Lamartinier got his head cut off for? 
it really makes you think, man. It really makes you think. Damn near 200,000 of our forefathers and foremothers lost their life for no reason. Lost their life for no reason. Lost their life for no reason. Imagine Destiny right now in the damn grave, knowing that his female descendants is right now chasing after the same men that he that he burned at the stake. The same men that he hung from trees. The same men that he the same men that he enacted vengeance upon to give you liberty and freedom and give you dignity and give you your status back as a human being and a citizen of the planet. You turn around and take that sovereignty and freedom and say, I need to marry a European. Like it don't get like it don't get no more. Like I said, generally I'm disgusted by it all, but the Haitian woman, you just you, you, it's an extra level of disgust for me. Extra level of disgust for me. Extra level. Like I can't even understand. How do you even wrap your mind around that? How do you even wrap your mind around that, bro? You're a joke. You're the biggest joke out of them all. You're the biggest joke out of them all. You're the biggest joke out of them all. The other women, they don't got your same history. The other women, they don't got your same history. Your foremothers, when it came to the European, your foremothers, they cut the European's head off. They chopped his balls off. They burned him alive. They motherfucking mutilated him and dismembered him. Your foremothers were on the battlefield going toe to toe, barrel to barrel against the European right alongside your black man. And now you turn around after those legendary battles and chase after the same white man who had to flee the island in humiliation. You are a joke. You are a joke and you don't deserve to be with a black man, let alone a Haitian man. The only thing you deserve is to be with a European because you're not worthy of a black man for real. Your four mothers don't even acknowledge you. I guarantee your female ancestors don't even acknowledge your existence. You're a joke to them just like you're a joke to me. And I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. Take that name. Take that name. You're not a Haitian princess. I don't know what you are, but you're not a Haitian princess. I don't know what the fuck you are. Let's continue. This lady said, on God, I'm definitely going to be one of those mamas. So she obviously agrees that, you know, her son should not bring home a white woman. Now, take a look up on the goddamn screen. She said this. I met this white man at work. He's from London and is a professional artist. I'm about to make him my sugar daddy. He's really old. He came out here in 1988. So, see what I mean? When it comes to her, oh yeah, I'm be one of those mamas that's gonna keep the bloodline pure and my, my black son better not come home with no European. But when it comes to her, she meets a random Britishman who's probably 65 years old, 67 years old, 80 years old, talking about, I'm about to be, I'm about to sleep with this, I'm about to become a sugar baby and sleep with this old ass decrepit white man. Bro, that's the, that, yo, these women are plantation minded. Don't you know, don't you know that's the same thing that was happening back in the plantation? A bunch of young girls, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, dealing with a bunch of old, smelly Britishmen and Dutchmen and Frenchmen and Spaniards, a bunch of old, crusty dudes way up in age in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. These women are still on a plantation mentally, bro. They're still on a plantation, but they're trying to convince you that they're down for liberation. That's my problem. The pro-black female is still on a plantation, but she's trying to convince you and the world that she's the one on the front line for liberation. This is a joke. This is one big comedy skit. This is a goddamn Saturday Night Live comedy skit and I'm just waiting for it to be over. Let's continue. Next tweet, this lady said, take a look up on the screen. She said, I don't know, but y'all talking about if a white woman said, who really would give a crumb of a fuck what a white bitch thought? Can't, can't y'all tell you on a rock block of Twitter? So as you can see, you know, Pro-black, pro-black, who cares what a white bitch think, even though I want to get with the white woman's son. Now, take a look up on the screen. She said this. I was just telling my dude, do you know what I could be doing to some white dudes for bands right now? And you want to smash for free? I need a bag. So check it out, bro. Check it out. She came through the door. Top shelf gangster. Who cares what a white chick think? Who cares what a, who give a crumb of a fuck what a white chick think? And then apparently she told her man that, do you know what I could be doing to white men right now for money? I need a bag, bro. Y'all boys go ahead. Y'all go ahead deal with black women who did outside their race if y'all want to. Y'all go ahead deal with sex workers if y'all want to. Y'all go ahead deal with goofy chicks if y'all want to. Y'all go ahead deal with these chicks with these liberal arts degrees if y'all want to. Y'all go ahead and deal with these chicks that be on Twitter and be on social media and Instagram and on YouTube and live on social media and get their personality from social media if if y'all want to, man. If y'all want to, you know, like this dude right here. This dude right here. Uh, we gonna end it. We gonna end it on this tweet right here. Check it out. This dude, facts. He said this. At this point, it's a competition. 
between the insecure cuck white males and the got my personality from the internet black females as to who can talk about the black men white women pairing in the most pathetic way possible I'm telling you man I'm telling you man I'm telling you the white men and the black women they they behind closed doors having a good old time but meanwhile they worried about what black men and white women doing and I'm on the sidelines. I don't even dead outside my race. But I'm stuck with a bunch of goofy ass chicks like these, man. I'm stuck. This is who I got to pick from, man. This is who black men got to pick from. The black men that want to keep it inside the family. Consolidate the family wealth. Keep it inside the race. This is who we got to pick from. An army of goofies. An army of just... <laughs> I'm out, man. Listen, I got nothing else to say. This video went way too long. Went way, way too long. It's a boy, never card. That's a lean. Cash app up on the screen. And I'm gone. Peace. Reincarnated, I'm back in original fashion. I left on a horse and came back in that ass. And I left with abundance and came back to famine. We used to be pyramids, now we be rapping. Look how the mighty have fallen. Used to be running, sh now we be walking. When you be cooning, that's when they applauded. Selling your soul, your sons and your daughter. Gotta come up in this shit. They stuck in the mix. Really, my heart would be breaking. That's why I'm stacking that paper and handle my business. Pass it down in generation. Talking about money and power and building a nation. That's a deadly combination. Never be watching the TV, they pushing the genders. Falsifying information. No, they got malice intentions. Step in the room and I'm feeling the tension. Enemy watching me, blocking my vision. Pay for the check, cause I need my redemption. Building my kingdom, I need it protected. Ready for war like a young money Congo. Never decided the team is the motto. Up in the crib and I'm whipping up waffles. Up in the crib and I'm smoking gelato. I'm chilling, I'm taking my pain and make it ambition. I'm blessed by the gods, but I ain't religious. I came for the power, they came for the bitch. They making no hourly wage. I got business. This shit is an art. And they can never be taught Selling my soul I can never be bought Play all my money I see you ain't caught Run to the check And I do it for sport Babylon falling I go to the source Packing my luggage And go overseas Shorty be with me And she so elite Shorty be chugged And I'm calling her Hershey Secret intelligence Probably gon' murk me Don't fuck with brands Cause nigga I'm Haitian Say the wrong shit And you're smacking their faces